Well, Tingle's stint as a pirate didn't work out as planned, but at least he still has his day job. Welcome back to freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Previously, we're done with Cape Treasure. We completed the pirate dungeon. There's nothing left for us there. Might as well go home and enjoy the fruits of my labor. By that, I mean rupee goods. And we have a special guest! Hey, it's Barkle! He's my pet now. He followed me home. Such a good boy. Where are you going? Wait, don't get near that! Barkle's dead. Oh well. But wait! He's still alive, but it's a fate worse than death. He is now a Tingle, too. What the heck is with Uncle Rupee in the Tingle suits, I swear. At least the pet looks like the owner now. Hey, Barkle, how you doing? Barkle will follow you around the house and you talk to him. But he has another ability. We just have to leave and come back. And we can do something else with Barkle. We can talk to him now. And we can sell him some bones. He won't give us three rupees anymore. But he will give us items. I'll go ahead and give him seven bones. Satisfy his lust for bones. Go ahead, Barkle. Let's see what you got. Prove your tingle ship. Ah, look at that! 50 rupees for seven bones! That's excellent. One time I gave him like 20 bones and he came back with like 14 rupees. He was a bad boy that day. But today he's very good. Who's a little puppy? Who's a little tingle puppy? I just love Barkle. He is this game's bony. That is canon now. I might as well grab up the simple juice. I'm gonna be heading into town. I need to go ahead and sell them some things. Thumb things, yeah. Yeah, we're good on Tingly, so. I'll be back later, Barkle. You hold down the fort. I have a map to sell, I have some juice to sell. I have that dagger for the armor. So it's time for a shopping expedition. Nobody has anything new yet except for this guy. It's the journalist we saved before. He was relaxing in his favorite cafe when Tingle decided to show up. That's great. There goes my entire day. This guy buys every single one of our simple juices. Any juice that we make, we bring to the journalist and he'll pay us for. These are actually pretty good. All I have to do is go to Cape Treasure, farm mini tomatoes, uh, mini oranges and those crisp tomatoes. In return is some 84 rupees, which is great. That guy's still being porky. I don't like that. I disapprove. You have nothing new. But I have a dagger for you. It's a pirate dagger. 400 rupees! It's a pirate weapon, even though I haven't seen them wield any of them. They're afraid of bones. You could go ahead and just pillage all their weapons by using a dog. Trust me on this, I know. Never talking to you ever. But I will talk to you. I have a completed map here. Several videos ago, I completed this map. I couldn't get to it because I was, you know, hijacked by pirates. I could have left the dungeon at any time and, you know, done it. Used the hand potion, but I kind of hate those. Instead, I just wanted to get the dungeon out of the way. Sue me. Treasure orb, the most important part of this map. 104 rupees. I think I got chipped. That thing spews rupees, ma'am. It's worth more than that. Oh well. 480 rupees for a completed map, that's good. And while we're here... I'm gonna go harass some birds. Wait a second. Are they wearing tingle suits too? I guess that wasn't just a magic trick, he really did tingle the birds. He's tingling everybody lately. First he got tingle, then he got the birds, now he got Barkle. What a motley crew of employees he has. I wonder if he tingled anybody else in this game yet. I'm gonna head into Port Town and everyone's gonna be tingled. It's a tingle epidemic! Oh, we're done with this area for now. Time to head on to the new one. I gotta toss in 4,000 rupees to head to the next area. It'll just keep on creeping up and up and up. Luckily, I keep on making more and more money! Look at the size of those rupees! How did he fit them in his wallet? Because he's awesome, that's why. Let's see some tower growing action! Man, 
We're getting some good height on this one. 40, 50, 60 meters. Oh, not quite. Oh well, we're at level 3 anyway. 59 meters is enough. Now it's time for a word from our good buddy Uncle Rupee. Hey, something's different about you today. How are you doing today, Uncle Rupee? There's something different about you. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Indeed I am. Look, he has a painting of a 20-piece rupee this time. Instead of a green one from before. And his roses are really going to town there. We can achieve our dreams. Believe in ourselves. Believe in the tower. You're getting self-helpy on us. Yeah, there's something different about you. Uh, I think it's the robe. I would lose the judge wig, though. And also, what are you using your mustache to make it that stiff? I question things, Uncle Rupee. I think you're working a little lavishly lately. Oh well. Uncle Rupee's allowed to spend money if he makes money. I'm wondering if there's some kind of correlation between my progress and the condition of Uncle Rupee. Oh, let's, uh, let's not muse on that now. It's time for this area. I didn't let the name come up, but it's Lon Lon Meadow. Now it's time for a word from Pinkle. Also, Titch is kind of hurting, but I don't really care anymore. What kind of research did you do today, Pinkle? It's famous for plants. We're going to get lots of cooking ingredients here. This is a great place to get some cooking ingredients. Welcome to Lon Lon Meadow. We got walking mushrooms and everything. Those are actually quite hard to fight because you can't battle them while they're in the ground. You have to wait till they move. We got this fellow. He saw a girl walking around here. But it's not safe to walk around all alone. Why? And I guess the walking mushrooms count. Well, I don't have a map, though. Titch, come on now. It's just a walking mushroom. Leave it alone. Well, that's one way to get aroma toadstools. And at least this enemy is smart and stays away from Titch. But speaking of Titch, we're, we're going to get rid of him now. And look, we got some plants to spew rupees here. Yeah, Titch, you go ahead and just harvest those rupees. Like a rupee combine. Sadly, I don't have the map to map that just yet, but at least they spew rupees, and that's a good thing. Welcome to the Bodyguard Salon. We have a new ability in place now. Evidenced by one of the Slona right here. Yeah, actually, I have seen those bodyguards quite a few times. They only let you choose three bodyguards at first, but if you have a word with the owner, you know, bribe them a little bit. You'll be glad you did. So let's go ahead and check that out. Also, there's a Salona that has a recipe on Cape Treasure. We're gonna have to go back for that later, too. I didn't have the money for it just yet. No, I do not. Stop trying to tutorial at me. It's the third area already. Ah, he's gonna do it anyway. We, we gotta get through with it to use the ability that was just mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Bodyguard, stronger they are, the more they cost. Blah, blah, blah. Get on with it! Thank you. Yeah, to stop the other bodyguards from complaining, everyone gets their turn. If you decide to grease his palm a little bit, pay him a little tip, he'll bring out some of the other bodyguards. So let's give that a shot. Each area, each continent, it gets higher and higher and higher. Right now, it's only 20 rupees. Oh, this is a motley crew already. Look at this, guys. Look at these fellows. Especially these two. This one, and that one. This is a small bodyguard. He is actually quite excellent. And he is the reason why you can't enter the pirate ship while using him, because he is indeed a dog. But I want, I want Agent Smith over here. This guy is an excellent bodyguard. I love him the heck. In a platonic way. Yeah, yeah. It's Mike Smith. Your name is Smith now. This is how much I want you to be Smith. 
135 rupees. This is an excellent bodyguard because he is assertive. He will not attack enemies unless I want him to. So Titch is officially fired. I have a smith now. This is a proper bodyguard. Now Tingle's living the high life. Come along, smith. We have things to do. And he follows my every command. Look at that. Walk in circles, Agent Smith. Tingle commands it. Let's go ahead and find this map. Maybe we'll find other good friends of ours. Which are not mushroom shaped. Look at him, he just ignores them. He doesn't care. His eyes is on the prize, which is his boss. His boss safety is his only concern. But right over here? We're going to meet alien cows. Wait a second, are these the cows from Majora's Mask? They got abducted by aliens and dropped off here. To battle with Tingle. You can get some heart meat, but it's not really useful for many things. Welcome to the Duke Show! Starring Duke! He's selling his most treasured tool, a high-quality shovel! So, Duke does have other uses besides fixing bridges. He's also a ditch digger, but he's quitting that job. Bridge building has become quite lucrative all of a sudden. Alright, we might as well do that, because I want to hear more of that theme. How you doing, Duke? I want to buy your shovel. Let the auction begin. Agent Smith, you are forbidden from bidding. To get his shovel, we're going to have to spend... Ah... I think it's about 750 rupees? Yes, it is. I just checked my guide. Hand over your shovel, Duke. I bid 750. My favorite web item from my favorite person. This is an excellent item. You could get very rich using this shovel. Just like you can in uh, other Legend of Zelda games too, if I imagine correctly. All we have to go is do go to our tools menu and we could use it. And then we could touch on Tingle and he'll dig places. But only where the ground is different. We can't dig everywhere like in other games. But there's many items buried there. Our business isn't concluded yet, Duke. Maybe somebody should really fix this bridge. Let's talk rupees. 299 rupees to fix this bridge to head to Cape Treasure. And then we'll be able to dig up a whole bunch of things everywhere. But we'll hold off to that till later. Good moment of silence for Duke while he fixed that bridge. Thanks, Duke! You're excellent. You want to come by my house later? I have a dog and an Agent Smith. It'll be an excellent party. The Alaba? Yeah, whatever you said there. Stop speaking highly in at me. Oh, we met Duke. That's great. But uh, there's something else we have to do around here. Like, right here. Oh, it's you again! It's like what I found, kid. He found something else. I bet it's a map. I bet he wants lots of money for it. Well, at least we got the Lon Lon Meadow map. Now we'll be able to map things. Speaking of which, I should head back to that farmer guy and get that location of the girl. She might be in trouble. And we might as well show off what the shovel does. This particular patch of ground right here could be dig dug on. Sometimes you'll get nothing. Other times you'll get one rupee. It makes me question the origin of rupees now. But you can find other things around here too. I think this patch of ground is only one piece rupees though. Yeah, I'm not finding much of else. But you can dig up other items as well. It's actually pretty important doing that here. Let's just check out this patch of ground. Just for the heck of it. I never dug here. I don't know what's in here. Sweet potatoes! Those are actually pretty good items. They'll make you, uh... Well, it won't make you a lot of money, but at least make your life easier, because some recipes require them. So it's good to have a stockpile of those on hand. Alright, buddy, I got a map. Go ahead and mark her off. 
I'll just put it on the ground because you're constantly crouched over. Now, where did I see her again? Come on, hurry it up. I'm a busy man. I'm a very busy man. Look at my bodyguard. He'll cut you wide open. So, we're gonna have to head to that area. There's a girl missing around there. Alright, thanks a lot. Next time on Freshly Picked Tingles Ozzy Rupee Land, we're gonna explore Lon Lon Meadow a little bit. Good night, folks.